Okay, so in tonight's episode of the vlog, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done for years and years and years. I am going to the Edinburgh Military Tattoo. Managed to get myself a little media pass, so I'm in. Can't wait. I have no idea what to expect. A lot of people say it's a great, great event, and other people say it wasn't for them, so I'm hopeful. I think it'll be quite good. I think it'll be interesting. Don't know what to expect, apart from a lot of bagpipes and kilts. Just absolutely love Edinburgh this time of year. So much going on. What follows is a brief construction montage. Okay, so before this tattoo vlog starts properly, I need to do something like a prologue. So the people from the Edinburgh Tattoo, they give me something of a challenge. And to be honest with you guys, it's not as much of a challenge as it is a stipulation or a rule or an order, a direct order. Because the BBC owns the broadcasting rights to the military tattoo, vloggers have been virtually forbidden from covering this event. However, they will let me put exactly two minutes and not even a millisecond more in my vlog. So as long as the footage from the tattoo is under two minutes, it's all okay. Okay, so I'm gonna break this content up into sections to talk about the different bands that I really, really liked. I've not got a lot of time to play with, so I'm actually just gonna show you my favorite parts of the tattoo. Now, there's no way I could cover the military tattoo without, of course, showing you the Scottish mass drums and pipes. There were actually two or three different drum and pipe groups playing the bagpipes, playing the drums and pipes together. And I'm gonna show you the highlights from some of the best ones. Keep on, bats! Quick, bats! I want to talk about the Mexicans. The Mexicans came out with an absolutely furious display at the start. Came running towards me at high pace. It was electrifying. There was so much color, drums and beats. It was just absolutely amazing. Have a look at this. I'm gonna tell you about my favorite couple of bands, right? First of all, the American Drill Band. I don't know exactly what you call them, but these guys were absolutely amazing. They were flinging their guns around in such precision with people walking among them. This was absolutely one of my favorite moments of the Fringe Festival. You need to see this. An unwavering mutual trust. Please direct your attention to Captain Riley Platt. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Air Force on a guard. Okay, one of the other most spectacular bands I felt in the military tattoo was the Swiss band. Again, this was about military precision. It was about just absolutely getting every fine detail bang on, and they were absolutely amazing. Like Swiss clockwork, you could say, and it was just down to the very finest of details. <laughs> And I should now have just a little bit of time left that I can show you the grand finale. The grand finale cannot be missed in this vlog. There's no way. It was incredible. Oh wow, 
that was unbelievable. And I think we got the best seats in the house right up front, on the floor alongside the Pipers. It was so, so good. So uh, my first experience at the Edinburgh Military Tattoo was definitely a good one. And I highly recommend anybody who's coming to the Edinburgh Festival to go to that. It might be a bit expensive, but it is worth it. Just trust me.